On Wednesday, September 25th, a candlelight vigil for murder victims was held in front of the Mingo County Courthouse in Williamson, West Virginia. Community members were in attendance to remember their lost friends and loved ones as a shared experience. Mountaintop News spoke with victims advocate Lynette Morrison to hear more. Well, both years that we've had it, I noticed that the families tend to stay around and they converse with one another, which is great. I mean, that's what it's about, is just bringing the community together and letting them know that they do have somebody that they can share their grief with. My goal is so that people don't have to feel alone. It's a tough thing to go through. Unless you've been there, you don't know. It helps to have someone to talk to and to know that you're not alone and that you don't have to go through this process by yourself. Homicide in itself is horrible. But trying to navigate homicide through the judicial system is very tough. And that's where myself, come, that's where I would come in to help the families. Hideaway novelties, smoke and vape, coal run, Caney, South Williamson, journey into the extraordinary today at the 21 and over shop in town. Officers from the Mingo County Sheriff's Department joined in to remember those who were killed in the line of duty. Morrison says anyone is welcome to their vigil events. In 2013, our then sheriff was murdered here in town. His daughter actually read a poem tonight in his memory. Law enforcement present, each one of those guys has worked a homicide in our county. They are no stranger to it. I just hope that the community knows that this is something that we plan on doing yearly. And I just encourage anyone to come out don't have to be Mingo County. We're all bonded by one thing, and that's somebody else taking our people. So anybody's welcome that's ever lost a loved one to homicide. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.